The term evaluation triggers many different connotations. Evaluation is an audit, form of inspection, research survey, and of course a long and boring report full of difficult words. We know from experience that because of evaluation's bad image, organizations are often not able to fully benefit from it. Our solution is simple. We want evaluation to be a form of creative reflection. Only then it can be truly useful and, however surprising it may sound, interesting. But how to do it? First of all, not everything can be bought. If evaluation is to be a form of reflection, it cannot be fully outsourced or commissioned. It's not a standard service. A hired external evaluator will provide expertise that your organization might not have, but nobody knows your program better than you do. That is why you should yourself formulate questions you want evaluation to answer. Only then, the results it provides could be really interesting for you. Reaching meaningful and relevant conclusions will not be possible without your participation. Reflection, however, requires the right conditions. Make sure you reserve time for discussion and plan the evaluation before the start of your program. Imagine you're organizing a computer course for senior citizens. Surely you want to know participants' impressions and comments. If you start thinking about that at the end of your program, it will be very difficult to collect their opinions. The course has ended a long time ago. How to get in touch with the participants after a long period of time? Will they be able to recall their impressions? If you make an evaluation plan beforehand, you will have time, for example, to prepare a survey, which you will give out to the participants at the end of each meeting. This way, you will be able to easily gather their opinions. In order to properly plan an evaluation, you have to carefully examine your program and reflect on its impact, which means creating a program theory. We usually think idealistically about our programs. It's necessary in order to work every day with passion. However, when it comes to evaluation, we should take on a role of engineers who examine ways in which the program operates under changing conditions. Program theory is a blueprint explaining how a mechanism we created works. It resembles a technical drawing, a point of reference accessible to anyone. The most interesting part of being an engineer is observing how theoretical assumptions work in real life. In order to find out, you need to develop relevant evaluation questions. Evaluation questions will determine the course of the evaluation. Relevant ones will result in gaining useful knowledge. Badly determined ones might lead astray. Were senior citizens satisfied with the course? It's definitely useful information, but it's not enough to manage a program. How will you know whether they really learned something? Did they start to use a computer on a daily basis? If not, then maybe it's worth modifying the scope of the course, even if the participants enjoyed it. A lot depends on questions. That's why they have to be chosen carefully on the basis of program analysis and discussion. A lot of information can be gathered by the organization. Evaluation doesn't have to mean big expenses or work overload. The key to success is a good plan. During the computer course for seniors, you can carry out a simple skills test or a group interview to gather useful data. There are of course times when help from the external expert is needed. For example, when you want to determine the impact the course has had on the senior's life, you need time, sampling and proper research methods. That type of research is best left to the experts. Gathered data become a part of the report, which is not the end of the evaluation. Is there any point in putting a lot of effort and resources in creating a document that will be just page through? What do we need to do in order for the report to play a useful role in future editions of the program? We need to create the right conditions for it. You can organize a meeting during which the report will be discussed by your team and the findings will have a chance to resound or gather a group of experts whose task will be to turn the conclusions into recommendations with practical application. Remember that evaluation is useful not only from the donator's point of view. A slight difference of emphasis is all it takes to really make it a more useful tool. Evaluation. Let's do it. Better.